When we first met that summer in Raleigh, my first impressions were that you were a big goofball. <laughs> You're willing to do what it takes to care for the people that you love um, and that you love the beach. I saw this boisterous man in an Ocean Potion t-shirt <laughs> and thought he would be really fun to sit on a beach next to. Despite your drunken comments, <laughs> but not putting in any effort. <laughs> <laughs> As I learned more about you and saw how much you sacrificed to help take care of your dad. I saw that you do, in fact, put in a lot of effort to make sure the people around you are safe and happy. I admire your integrity and your enthusiasm. You're firm in your beliefs, and I don't and don't hold back in expressing them. Expressing them. <laughs> you are loyal, trustworthy, creative, and fun-loving. You make me feel valued and safe to be myself. I promise to always be honest with you 
and to keep an open mind and an open heart, even when it's easier to shut down and I'm being attacked. <laughs> um, I promise to cherish both the large and the small moments we have together and to keep making time to get out, learn new things, and experience everything the world has to offer. I promise to accept you and love you for who you are through all of the seasons of life. When you get angry, I will give you space. <laughs> And I will talk through things with you later. When you are sad, I will hold you and sit with you through it. When you are sick, I will do my best not to roll my eyes. And we'll take care of you. <laughs> when you are excited about something, even if it's related to hockey, I will celebrate with you. I will be there for every new job, every move, every disappointment, and every win. I will choose to be on your side every day. I want you to have a life surrounded by people who love you. Full of laughter, see new places, with lots of good food. <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best to make this happen for you, because you deserve the best life has to offer. I'm so grateful that I found you I can spend the rest of my life with you by my side. Whether that is on a beach or just sitting on the couch watching our programs. I love you. <laughs> And I can't wait to call myself your wife. I'll kiss you for that. Thank you. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> well, it's hard to... I'm good with numbers, Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa, when I saw that belly button, I just knew I was going to blow a raspberry. <laughs> When you look up into my eyes during a close embrace and smile, I just know I love this woman and she loves me. I cannot believe I found such a pretty smart, pretty lady who can deal with this goofy man. I feel that you can meet me where I am or at least tolerate me when I'm being <laughs> wacky. I adore you and your humor. On that note, I vow to constantly strive for our shared happiness. I vow to continue to be my authentic self with you all of the weirdness included. I vow to pick you up when you are down. As your big strong man, not a mule, I vow to pick things up and put them down for you. <laughs> I vow to share the load and work as a team. I vow to put in the effort. <laughs> and the irony is not lost on me for failing to write this down, but I vow to become a better communicator. I vow to help navigate when you are lost, figuratively or geographically. <laughs> I vow to remain loyal to you. I vow to take care of both of us to the best of my ability. We're going to make a great run on life together. Your patience, tenderness, sweetness, and intelligence assure me every day that we're going to make it. I love you forever yours.
traveled far and wide in both years and miles to join them at this most significant moment. Sharing in their happiness is absolutely the best gift they could have wished for. Well, we all know that Alyssa and Nick are here today to get married and that they are just perfect for each other. Heck yeah! It's for moments in this wonderful story and many others that Nick can say of Alyssa when I asked him to tell me what he loves about her. Alyssa is organized, a good listener, and very understanding. <laughs> I love her happy dance, usually when we're going to have some ice cream or something. <laughs> she makes me smile when she moves my miniature Kermit stuffed animal somewhere random in the house. I love when she holds me tight and puts her head against my chest. Alyssa is my best friend and I love sharing my time and couch space with her. I've never shared my thoughts as much with anyone else. Alyssa is the one I love and want to come home to. And that's why Alyssa can say of Nick when I asked her to tell me what she loves about him. I love Nick for his sense of humor and the way he makes each day brighter. He makes me smile when he belts out songs while washing the dishes. I love that Nick values spending time with family. He helps me slow down and enjoy those moments. I am better with him because he challenges me to think about things in different ways. I am so excited to continue building a life with him and seeing the world together. Nick is my best friend, biggest fan, and safe harbor. Now Alyssa and Nick are in love, so of course you'd expect them to gush about each other on their wedding day. It's the opinions of friends and family that are a little bit more objective and rooted in reality, right? So I asked some of us here what makes Alyssa and Nick such a wonderful couple, and here's what you had to say. I love how Alyssa matches Nick's happy-go-lucky energy. They show each other love when Nick flips an ATV in the middle of the Rocky Mountains, and Alyssa works to calm him down when she's the one with the bruises. <laughs> <laughs> they are perfect for each other and fit together so well. They bring so much joy and light to the people around them. I absolutely love spending time with them. They show their love to each other by supporting each other and their fur babies. When they are together, they are always smiling and giggling. I love how they spoil my children as aunt and uncle. When they are together, they are happiest. Friends, the most important thing about today is what happens in the next few moments. Because obviously, Alyssa and Nick didn't just fall in love today. We aren't here to celebrate love. So what's so special about today? Today is like no other because we're here to observe and to witness and to celebrate what this love story has inspired. Promise. We are celebrating the profoundness of commitment, how a seed has fully blossomed into Alyssa and Nick's wanting to say to each other, I will be the person who is always here for you. What we've enjoyed the past seven years, we will foster and cultivate for as many as we have left on this earth. Today, Alyssa and Nick are here in this public setting to say to us and to each other that the bond that started to take root at Rum Runners in Raleigh on a date at the station in Carborough, taking a trip to Nashville, adopting their pups, Ray and Olive, even though they didn't turn out how they expected, <laughs> traveling to South Carolina and Florida, proposing in St. Augustine to be young forever, and in a hundred mundane moments in a, and exciting excursions together. That bond, they will commit to keep strengthening wherever life takes them from this day forward. And so having said all that, Alyssa and Nick, do you stand here today to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We, we do. do. Wonderful. This is the heart of the ceremony, the part of the day when Alyssa and Nick break new ground into their relationship by making promises to each other 
traditionally called vows. Nick, you'll go first. Nick, do you take Alyssa to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Alyssa, do you take Nick to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Alyssa and Nick will now exchange rings as a symbol of the promises they've made here today and of their ongoing commitment to each other. He's got the rings. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Nick, you will go first. Place Alyssa's ring on the tip of her left ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And I join my life to yours. And I join my life to yours. You may slide the ring all the way on her finger. Okay, Alyssa, it's your turn. Place Nick's ring on the tip of his left ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. You may slide the ring on. All right, before we get to the moment you've all been waiting for, I'd like to announce that after the ceremony, please enjoy some refreshments over to the left of the patio, on the patio, and the restrooms are to the right inside. Alyssa and Nick will join you shortly thereafter. Alyssa and Nick, your wedding day is already flying by. Many couples remember how fleeting their own wedding day was, especially the ceremony. So I encourage you right now to take in every detail of this moment. The feeling of each other's hands, the feeling of having all these people who love you all in the same place. Think about the happiness that you're feeling. Let that feeling live in your heart and your mind so you will remember it forever. Now I get to say something you've all been looking forward to hearing for a long time. By the grand love that has brought you here today, by the vows you have exchanged and the integrity of your commitment in the company of dear family and friends, it is my honor and absolute delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family, please stand with me now as I present to you Nick and Alyssa, husband and wife. Woo!